What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of What's Up Tank Washington. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have before you my one of the new builds that I'm working on. Um, actually currently working on three but as some of you may know uh, Roscoe Manufacturing they've released their new K9 series and I just so happened to get my hands on one of their K9 12 and a half inch Sage Dynamic 556 barrels. So we're going to be building this up into a pistol of course uh, the upper for that came in today I'm going to put the forward assist on that and I gotta go in the room and find the dust cover but the overall build is not what we're here to talk about today what we're here to talk about today is this guy the era 15 receiver lapping tool from Wheeler their Delft series line and what it will allow me to do is basically square the surface of the upper receiver where the barrel or the barrel extension and the upper receiver come together. If you look closely you'll notice there's a bit of play and gapping in between it if you look at this one there, you can see a tiny bit, but you may not be able to see that in the camera. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to take the lapping tool, and it comes with the lapping compound, and we're going to basically cut away a thin layer of material from around the surface of the upper receiver until it is completely flat, so that the barrel has a true uh, mating surface uh, that's completely square. So we're gonna go outside, we're gonna put this in the vise, and we're gonna get to it. Okay, so we're all set up in the vise. Now, in the Wheeler's kit, you get, of course, the lapping bar. Now, when you're putting the lapping compound on, you're only supposed to put it on this inside surface right here. That is the only area that gets the lapping compound. Now, the actual pilot of it, when that goes into the upper receiver, you want to oil that to reduce friction because it's going to be spinning inside the upper receiver. Another piece you get with the wheeler kit, you get a threaded flex drive. Now, this goes into your drill, but it flexes for those of us like me who can't seem to hold even pressure and it keeps you from putting too much pressure downward or upward on any particular surface of the upper receiver it helps you keep it even so that you're getting a even flat cut all the way through and of course you get the lapping compound this is 220 grit because we want to cut a little bit of material away from the surface so that we can get that squared true flat surface so, we're gonna put the, got wall spot here. We're gonna put the, um, the compound on, we're gonna oil up the lapping bar, and we're gonna get started. Now, it has come to my attention that you can also do this by hand. Now, me being that this is the first one that I'm going, this, now me being this is the first one that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it using the drill. So, bear with me. Hopefully I don't screw anything up. Wish me luck. All right, so we've got the bar inserted. We have the lapping compound on the bar. It doesn't take a whole lot, but you don't want to overdo it because you don't want any of the compound to get inside of your upper receiver because it will cut away the material and we want to avoid that. For the lubricant today, I'm going to be using the Slips 2000 
EWL heavy duty 30 weight. Now this is not necessary. You can use any lubricant. This is just what I have on hand. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I should have had this done already, but I'll grab my drill and get chucked up. You want to apply even pressure as you drill and you want to stop every few seconds or I'll say every few moments rather to make sure you're not cutting away when you're doing it by hand you can go for about a minute or two and then check it but with the drill being that it cuts a lot faster you want to check more frequently to make sure you're not overdoing it. starting to cut but we gotta go a little bit more make sure that you're getting any excess out of your upper receiver again we don't want any of that surface to be cut away getting there. I'll go a little longer this time. Make sure we still have enough compound. May want to add just a little bit more. Or maybe not. Let's see. Nope. We still had enough on there. So I'll just reinsert it. Start cutting some more. cutting pretty evenly take off a bit more just for good measure
should have brought a rag instead of a napkin. <laughs> I'll have to go back and check the instructions to see exactly when it's time to stop. But as we can see, it's still cutting some. I believe I have a bit more to cut off. So I'll go ahead and finish that. And then when you all rejoin me, I'll be back inside for not the final assembly, but just the fitment check. All right, and we are back. And here is the finished product. So according to the instructions, the lapping is complete when the top ring of the upper receiver is completely silver. Here we have complete silver. It's even all the way around. I did it vertically earlier, and again, it's very hard to see with the camera, but the barrel fits in much, much better now. It's a much more even surface it's connection all the way around. There's not that tiny bit of light when you look at it anymore. So another reason for lapping your barrel, your upper receiver is in the event that you have a barrel nut that needs to be turned a certain way to make sure that you can align the hole for your gas tube. This will give that an even flush surface to go up against to make it easier to make that alignment. Now, some would argue that Lapping your um <laughs> can't get the words out. Some would argue that lapping your upper receiver is unnecessary. Some would argue that it increases your accuracy. Some would say up to a quarter MOA of increase in your accuracy of your rifle. Me personally, I don't know because I don't have a ton of experience in these things. But the way I feel, if there is a chance anything that could improve the way that my rifle functions, I'll at least give it a try. So, I'll put the rest of the rifle together after I get the rest of the pieces, and then we'll take it out and we'll test it. But, this has been the lapping of my new upper receiver using the Wheeler Delta Series AR-15 lapping receiver tool. AR-15 receiver lapping tool. Also, once you're finished, make sure you thoroughly clean everything. Make sure you clean all of the compound that may have gotten inside of your upper, as well as making sure you clean all of the compound that could have possibly gotten inside of your threading. You do not want that in your threading when you put your barrel nut on. You do not want any of that to cause any friction or grinding and wear there. Make sure you clean the tool, and for storage purposes, you want to coat it with a light coat of oil and that will keep it from rusting. But again, give it a try, see if you like it, but as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.